Hi, I'm Desiree, and what I have for you today is the second part of a four-part series all focusing on the core. And when I say the core, I actually mean way more than the core. So I'm talking the muscles that run along the spine, the multifidus. I'm talking about the abdominals, including the deep uh, transverse abdominals. Um, we're talking hips, adductors, abductors, pelvic floor, and even the diaphragm. So all of this, uh, in Pilates, we call this the powerhouse, right? So in this practice today, we'll refer to this as uh, the root, right? Or our center or neutral. So when we come into a neutral spine, as we will in a moment, right? Those, that placement, that stacking or restacking of the body will help engage all of those muscles and many more to help support the body and the spine to move through bigger and more movements. So we're gonna focus on that today in a standing series. Let's start at the top of our mat. Right. And come to stand, feet hip distance apart, and just be really casual, like you just walked up to a friend and you're just having a conversation. Right. So just kind of bring your mind's eye into your body. Close your eye for a minute, eyes <laughs> for a moment. Tune into the breath. I want you to really focus in on the breath and just see how when you deepen your inhale that it really moves the, the entire trunk. And when you take a deep breath in, how it really starts to shift and lift and move all kinds of things. Same thing with the exhale. So your breath even has its own muscular action, so to speak, as it's relying and moving off of the diaphragm. Return to your natural rhythm of breathing. And then open up your eyes. So let's start to uh, rearrange the body some. So even though we can't actually make a straight line with the body, we are going to just alter the shape and the curve of the spine to find this more neutral position. Right, so bring your focus down to your feet, right? Bring your weight back into your heels so that your hips come above your ankles. Right, allow the toes to be light and long. And think of having a lift from the inner arch of the foot, drawing all the way up the inner thigh to the pelvic floor, right? Bring your hands onto your hips and then tilt your hip points, right? So they come a bit more up towards the ribs. So the tailbone slightly comes down, right? This would be more of a neutral position. If you need an extra moment to find neutral, right? Have your hands on your hips and just uh, move the pelvis back and forth from this anterior tilt position to this posterior tilt, right? Where you're moving away and going towards the spine. So we're gonna find somewhere in between that's gonna be our neutral. When you find the neutral, bring your attention up to your ribs, right? When we kind of want uh, this flush connection between the ribs and the hip points. So this becomes almost one unit, right? Where we're not rounding or popping the ribs out, rounding in the back or popping the ribs out. And then bring your attention up to the heads of your shoulders and then press the shoulders away from the midline, away from, from the heart center. Bring your arms down by your sides. And then even just bring your awareness uh, or your attention to your head, allowing the back of the head to align with the pelvis and the heels. So this is our neutral, right? This is also our Tadasana, our mountain pose. And so as we move through these next few shapes 
and activities, I want you to try and keep this structure. As we move, naturally things are gonna wanna jolt and jive and do whatever, but again, it's that intention of bringing it all back to center, right? Go ahead and lift the arms, bend the knees, come down into a chair pose. Bend a little deeper through the ankles and the knees. Right, and stay a bit more upright in the trunk. Now I want you to straighten the legs and think of the front of the body unhinging as everything comes back to that Tadasana. Go ahead and bend through the knees, come back to chair. And then unhinge, returning back to Tadasana. So it's almost like the back body unfolds and comes into the front body. Bend again, come back to chair. And then unhinge, return to Tadasana. All right, once more into chair. All right, from here, we're gonna play with a little bit of balance. All right, so go ahead and shift your weight onto your right foot, lift the left foot up off the ground. All right, draw the left knee in towards center, in towards the chest, and then we're gonna add a slight turn and rotation of the trunk to bring the left, right side of the body towards the left side. All right, so we're now crossing over the right side of the trunk towards the left thigh. Go ahead and untwist, come back to center, place the foot down. Stay neutral in the spine, shift your weight onto the left side, draw the knee up, inhale, lengthen, and then turn the low belly from left to right, come in for a twist. Untwist, come back to center, place the foot down. And we're just gonna take a couple of rounds like this, alternating from side to side, keeping that control, keeping form, and concentration. So it's almost like the body is playing tug of war with itself, right? The bottom half of the body is doing the opposite of the upper half of the body, but coming in to have this force meet in the center. So each time that you twist, I want you to think of diving deeper into your own body, into your own muscles to find a bit more length. So as everything draws into center to stabilize. We're also going to find areas to lengthen. So maybe you can twist a little deeper, lift the leg a little higher, spread the chest a little further away from the spine. Right, give me one more on each side and then we'll pause back at center. Take the hands down, return to Tadasana, find neutral, and pause. Return to chair, bend through the knees and the ankles, stay upright in the chest. And then go ahead, come onto the toes, Lower down all the way to the ground. Stay in the squat for a moment. Come more into the back body. Try and balance yourself here while staying upright and neutral. And then place the hands on the ground. Come onto the tops of the feet. And then just slide back to the center of the mat. Take a moment to pause on the shins. Right, and then stand up on your knees. Take the legs hip distance apart. And step the right foot forward. So that same principle of hugging everything into center to bring the leg forward. All right, from here, we're gonna tuck the toes. Right? We're gonna press into the front, heel, uh, front foot 
Right? As you press into the front foot, stand up, draw the knee into the chest. Come in for a twist. And twist, and then we're going to take it back down. Right, so you're going to lift the knee, step it forward, draw the knee into the chest, and then take it back down to that smaller lunge, drop the knee. So we're returning to this 90 degree angle each time, staying neutral and upright in the trunk, and drawing everything into center. Again, reach deep into the body to see where else you can lift and pull, support yourself with control. We'll do one more. Woo! <laughs> and then come back to Tadasana, hands to the ground, or hands by your sides. Breathe. Take a deep inhale, followed by a deep exhale. Come back to a chair. Lower down onto the toes. Stay in the squat. Find neutral in the spine. Right, bring your hands to the ground. Come onto the tops of the feet and the shins. All right, this time step the left foot forward right, tuck the back toes right find everything draw into center pull up from the feet in from the upper body right, press into that standing leg or that front leg draw the knee into the chest <laughs> whoops <laughs> All right, step it back, take the knee down, come back up, take it down. And so the whole time we're hinging and unhinging and just pulling everything to that center fo focal point. One more on this side. All right, keep the knee up. Totally forgot the twist on this side. Go ahead and twist here. Bring the leg down. <laughs> Pause in Tadasana. Close your eyes and breathe. On your next inhale, take your breath a little deeper. And then on your next inhale, take the breath even deeper so you fill up the entire belly. And then a soft, audible exhale out through the mouth. Go ahead and open up your eyes. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Desiree. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, I would love to hear from you. So do reach out and thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your day.